It's better to have a pet than a younger brother. I love dogs and animals. It's wonderful having a pet. I have six dogs. I love them. Man. I always play with them. I just play with them. He's very dumb. He doesn't fetch. If I throw a ball to him, he'll, he'll run and he'll run around the whole place. He'll make me fetch him. You feel like a person in the world who doesn't care how you are, what you are, but still loves you so much. No matter what you do to them, what you say to them, they'll always be there for you. Any animal, any pet. They understand you and then they, they don't scream. When he makes that sad kind of a face, your heart just melts and you forget him, forgive him for everything. Nafisa Ali, very nice to have you on the show as a pet lover. You've been always crazy about animals and creatures of... I'm not just a pet lover, I would say I'm an animal lover. Mm -hmm. uh, since I grew up, since I could uh, talk and walk, I was always uh, with animals and mm -hmm. therefore uh, I suppose I'm lucky that I've understood the, the importance of living with uh, animals. And did you learn at a very young age to look after the creatures you were yeah, with? And, yeah, and also always any, even if my dad uh, went shooting and he injured a bird, mm -hmm. he would bring it home for me and then I used to uh, uh, take care of it and put a plaster and make it okay. We had, we had bar-headed geese in our house as pets and the whistling teal and always had rabbits or a goat or always had about four dogs. I think it's so important that parents today who are themselves so scared of animals uh, should make children sensitive because you know it just makes you a better human being. Codependency amongst the human race can only be learned by sharing with another creature who may be greater but is smaller and weaker and milder and needs protection. That's very sweetly said. So did you ensure that your kids did the same? Were they growing up also with animals? Always. I have four yeah. dogs mm. and so one is about my Labrador, she's 15 years old, very sick, old and sick and we have to carry her up and down the steps mm -hmm. and then she goes and walks about. Uh, once I noticed a hornbill came and, it, and uh, it was obviously thirsty and didn't know what to do. So now I have a bird bath and a water for birds that costs nothing yeah. and every day you can throw a few seeds out or crumbs out. And they These things also it. parents can teach their children, no? Mm. Sure, sure. I just feel I don't know whether one should actually put birds in cages. You know, it's important that children also realize you don't just buy a bird in a cage and let it go because then the crows will kill them. So if a bird is bred to be in captivity, mm -hmm. don't let it go because it won't they be able know. to live. So uh, uh, you have to uh, get, ask an expert before you make these decisions for yourself.